Jude. Three and four. This is not what I had wanted to be done today, but you know something? I got to warn you, saints and brethren, sisters, I'm a little, just a little triggered. I like that. Uh, just, just a little triggered. Okay? Just, just a little. Just a little. Jew. Hey, Christian. Hey, Christian. Why don't you go ahead and get the authorized version, commonly referred to as the King James Version. Why don't you go ahead and grab one, if you have one, I hope you do, and read along with me, okay? Please. And anyone else out there who may see this, this, this is yet again another warning. Another warning to you to watch out for Christians and Christianity and to beware of someone coming around telling you just believe and receive. Oh yeah, Franklin, yes, I got it. I'm sorry, you you guys, no, I'm not sorry. You guys, you, you free gracers are just absolutely abhorrent. You really are, you really are, you really are. I detest, I despise. I abhor free grace. But, 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 if you got a copy of the scriptures, read along with me. Don't trust what I say. <laughs> don't trust me. Yeah, don't. Don't. Trust this. The authorized version, okay? Read it. Read along with me, because you know what? Unlike most of these uh, so-called perfect, flawless preachers on YouTube and people that you hear, uh, I make mistakes. I make errors. I stumble and bumble. I, I slip up. Okay? So you need to read. Being a Berean, searching the scriptures daily, whether these things be so, this is something that you ought to do. Okay? And if you're lost, and you know it, this is a warning to you, okay? I'm not a Christian, by the way. I am not a Christian. No way, no how, okay? I'm a saint. Now, right away, you get your little, your little tushies in a bind over that. Well, what you, 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 son, you don't know what a saint is. What you think is a saint comes to you from the mother of harlots. Who's that? That's the Roman Catholic Church. Okay? That's the Roman Catholic Church. They have told you something that a saint is not. In the description box, there will be a plethora of videos on this topic that we are addressing today. But, okay, there's a little introduction. Can you, can you handle that? I know you, a lot of you free gracers, you can't handle you can barely make it ten. You can barely make it ten minutes and something, unless you've got a couple of imbeciles grouped together using profanity and talking about abhorrent, carnal, worldly things. That of course that tickles your fancy, you know, itches your ear and that kind of stuff. Okay, so hopefully, but see, I'm not making a video to placate to your attention span. If you want to hear truth, the Lord through his word, provide it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jude 3 and 4. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, common to all people, it's available to all people. Uh, not everybody going to be saved there, sweetie pie. Now, there are some, some of you free gracers don't f say that because that is a tenet of universalism. But, you know, just believe and receive. Anybody can believe. Anybody can believe. The devils also believe. Thou believest there is one God. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But see, what one God are we talking about? See, I preach the Christ who is. Okay? One God. 
was comprised of spirit, soul, and body. I have yet to encounter a free grace adherent who believes in the true Godhead of Scripture, one God comprised of spirit, soul, and body. Uh, every single one that I have ever encountered, all, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> all believe in the Roman, in the Babylonian, Egyptian, Roman Catholic, one God in three. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> one God in three persons. That's not who God is. Guess what? You're a Trinitarian? <laughs> Bless your heart, and I mean that in the Southern way. You have the wrong God. You have the wrong God. That's not who God is. Let me, let me, again, let me make myself abundantly clear to you. To hell with the Trinity. I have no fear, no remorse, no regret, no repentance of mocking the false God. The Trinity. That's not who God is. To hell with the Trinity. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's your Trinity. Do I make myself clear, dear friend? Do I make myself clear to you? I hope so. But the common salvation means it's available to all. It's not delegated to a select few because of skin color or because of certain demographics or whatever or because you speak in tongues, or because you seek God personally, which you have not, okay? No, it's available to all, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile, or elsewhere it says the Greek, and the Greek is a Gentile, okay? So the common salvation. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the Christians. No, the saints. The saints. Okay? I know Christian appears three times. First two mentions are by pagans. The third time is, you know, you're, you're Pope Peter. Uh, but you have to take into consideration the context in which the term or the word Christian is being compared on to. Okay? It, it's a sinking ship. But I understand that that's not going away. But there, have to, there are people out there who are telling you the truth of the matter. Because, wait, remember, Catholics are Christians. Yeah? <laughs> and, and Catholicism is Mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Satan's church is the Roman Catholic Church. And the daughters of the whore, such as, Free grace. Now, free grace in and of itself is not its own denomination, like King James Bible, even Christianity has become. No, uh, free grace, this abhorrent, obnoxious, <coughs> this obnoxious, abhorrent theology, oh, the proper term for it is antinomianism, um, is something that Kind of like a Jesuit. You don't know what that is? Hey, the most popular video on this channel now uh, that the Lord has given your servant is the one about the Jesuit order. Go go find it, okay? But they come into these divided, fragmented body of Christianity and they infect different denominations, such as so-called King James Bible believing Christianity, uh, Methodists, German Catholics, Lutherans, they don't count, okay? Episcopalians, Baptists, okay? Pentecostals have a, a, a blend of that, but you got to remember, a lot of Pentecostals, at least, they have it wrong with the modalism, okay? <laughs> One God uh, fulfilling uh, different modes. He was the father in the Old Testament. He's Jesus in the New Testament, and after the death, burial, and resurrection, he said, no, 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 no. So you and I are made in the image of God. We have a spirit. We have a soul. We have a body. Okay. That pretty that's pretty simple, okay? The Trinity, dear friend, is what is confusing. 
Okay? Again, am I making myself clear to you? I hope I am. Okay? Uh, verse 4 here in Jude. For there are certain men and women, which we're going to address, crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Like Pharaoh. Pharaoh before the Lord hardened his heart and led him along in his delusion, uh, ordained to this commendation. They have made their choice. The impossible is possible with God. Yes, it is. But, you know, you can go past the point of no return that you cannot come back of your own doing. It's not that the Lord can't save. The Lord can save anybody. Okay? The Lord can save anybody, but not at gunpoint. God doesn't force anything on anybody, people. Okay? You have to understand that. Okay? You have to understand that. But there are people that will go to a point where they get so far that it takes longer for them to backtrack than to continue on in their heresy. Thus, Pharaoh. You guys like to point to Pharaoh. Pharaoh already believed in his heart that he was a big G God. And then along comes free grace. And a moment where someone may be seeking, where being broken is going on. And then they come around with their just believe and receive and making twofold more of the child of hell than themselves. So they were ordained to this commendation because they had already made a choice. See, man has free will there, son. Little girl. Little, little baby girl, huh? Yeah, yeah. You, you. Pig. Sow. Pig. Anyway. I'll go more on that in a second. Okay? Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. You looked that well, you, you you looked that word up on your own time in the scriptures, okay? And denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. One God. One God comprised of spirit, soul, and body. Okay? Hmm. Alright? Free grace. I will give you $5,000 of money I do not have if you can verbatim show me anywhere in Scripture the authorized version, the King James Version, the real, uh, perfect, inerrant, given by inspiration, Word of God. I will give you $5,000 of money I do not have if you can provide for me one verse in Scripture where it says verbatim, free grace. Show it to me. It's not there. Oh, but there is Romans 3.23, right? Ah, freely by His grace. Mm. Mm. There's a big difference there. Okay. Which we are going to briefly address because this has been, uh, we have exhausted this subject. But unfortunately, Free grace is not going away, and it won't until uh, Roman Catholicism in Revelation chapter 18 gets destroyed. Then your free grace will permanently be gone away with. And besides, there's a lot of evidence during the time of Jacob's trouble that uh, somewhere within there, this ridiculous just believe and receive will be upended eventually. So, sooner or later, antinomianism will be uh, abolished. Can't come soon enough, as far as I'm concerned, because uh, I believe that is the biggest heresy there is today. Okay? The biggest. Now, <laughs> I I'm not going to name this individual. Uh, I'm not. But I encountered an individual who, a couple of, what, a few weeks ago, um, Lord had me to do a video addressing this individual by the name of Nick. His channel is called The Hooker, and apparently he's called himself that not because he's a grappler, I don't know if he is, not because of the other reason, but because he's a tow truck, tow truck driver. So they hook the car, so that's The Hooker. Um, that, that man has got actual, real devil uh, activity going on in his house and in his life. Okay? Uh, and that man is seemingly in a process of being broken. But 
You know, he, he's like, well, why does a loving God, you know, allow death and all this stuff? Okay, he's on that process. And see what happens with these vile dog pig free gracers is they intercede at a moment when these people might be in that process of actually being broken. And what the every single one of you do, they jump over the required Brokenness of self. That's what you guys do. You don't like to take personal accountability and responsibility. No, you do not. No, you do not. Because even Elmer from New York, you know, the woman's world is heresy. Where, you, where the Lord will use you, a saint, to guide someone onto himself through the Romans road. Romans 1, 2, and 3, up to verse 18, which the free gracer conveniently jumps over. And, but they, they say, well, we're all sinners. And that is absolute truth. But see, what comes before 3? 2. What comes before 2? 1. See, Romans 1, 2, and 3, up to verse 18, any lost person can get it. And see, what Romans 1, 2, and 3, up to verse 18 does is call, hold you accountable. That you are not righteous. You are not good. That includes me too. And see, free gracer hates that. And jumps over. And goes to, and see, Romans 3 is truth. Yes, it is. But see, what they are neglecting, what they are leaving out, see, it's a half-truth. And a half-truth isn't the whole truth, is it? Because it's what these devils are not telling you is important. Brokenness. Broken. You cannot save yourself. And free grace offers you to save yourself. I just believed and received. Okay? You need to take responsibility for you, me, putting Jesus Christ on the cross. Oh, you don't like that. None of you do. You do the idea, well, the woman thou gavest me to be with, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. That's what you do. And you hide. Well, we're all sinners. That is absolute truth. But see, Romans 1, 2, and 3, up to verse 18, it, 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 like the Lord does, puts the finger on that one thing you lack. That's why they hate it. That's why you got Elmer Fudd from New York saying the woman's woad is heresy. Okay? Do I make myself clear? I hope I do. I hope I do. Okay? And this individual, I'm not going to name Okay? Incidentally, I did not block you, if you happen to see this, and I have a feeling you will. Um, I did not block you. You, I've seen, like to give links on people's videos to Renee Rowland. Have you heard of her? I hope you haven't. A pig, disgusting, vile woman. Free Gracer, who is stupid. A video, an eight minute video of, uh, see, and the Free Gracer will deceive you by saying they rightly divide the word of truth. But see, here's how you can disprove that. It's like, okay. It's not funny. How are they made right in the Garden of Eden? By grace through faith? No. 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 That's a lie. They were not, it was not by grace through faith in the Garden of Eden. No, it wasn't. Prove it to you. Absolutely. Romans 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. In Genesis chapter 3, go ahead and read it on your own time. They saw God. How does a voice walk unless it has a body? Figure that one out. Oh, the Spirit of God moved across the water. Uh, in Genesis 3, it says the voice of God. God said, a precarnate form of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, in bodily form of a man, was in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve saw God. Hey, 
Hence, not by grace through faith in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> and okay, uh, Hebrews eleven, uh, verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. These guys will also tell you it's by grace through faith during the time of Jacob's trouble, and that they do purposely, so that when you get left behind after we, the body of Christ, get redeemed before the time of Jacob's trouble, they do that purposely so that you will damn yourself to hell and take the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead, and you're done. Okay, you're done. And they're going to be, well, just believe and receive. Once saved, always saved. In a dispensation, where it is by faith and works. See? Okay? But see, the free gracer tells you it's by grace through faith from beginning to end. And they even brilliantly say that it's by grace through faith during the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of Heaven. You know the Sermon on the Mount that you twits like so much? And praise the Lord, it is beautiful for instruction and righteousness for us. Instruction and righteousness. Yes. Yes, it is. Lot of instruction and righteousness in the Sermon on the Mount. But here's the thing there, sweetie pie. It's not doctrine for us today. It's not salvific doctrine for us today. And before Christ died, buried, and rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, what was their faith in? They were not looking forward to the cross. No, they weren't, or else you'd have a contradiction with Ephesians chapter 3. And you might be sitting there, well, you can't prove that through Scripture. Uh, the Lord through Scripture, we have a lot of videos disproving the heresy of free grace. If you want to believe in it after it has been thoroughly smashed and bashed to death by the sword of the Spirit, that's you, you're willfully ignorant. You want that. And who doesn't, right? Who wants to be broke? Who wants to accept the fact that they're no good and they can't do anything? And then you got these quasi pond scum devils come along, just believe and receive, and make a devil out of you. In the kingdom of heaven, Jesus Christ is going to be physically present on the earth. That's why I, I, yesterday I, I encountered these people who, you know, about the unpardonable sin. And why can't Christians answer that? You know why? Because they don't rightly divide the word of truth. What determines a dispensation there, little girl? is how a man, mankind, is made right and or saved within the dispensation. See, God's grace, unmerited favor, the better blessing the lesser is there in every dispensation. God's grace does not determine the dispensation. Okay? That's what that stupid pig, Renee Rowland, tried to tell you. That, that woman is, a, you know, and about a woman preacher. About a woman preacher. We are all in the ministry of reconciliation. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And yes, a woman can be used of the Lord in a circumstance where it's mano y mano. Okay? We've talked about this before. Okay? But see, when it comes to Preaching and teaching the Word of God. Uh, God is very plain. But see, and see, there's this one devil named Scott grafted into hell ministry who did a video justifying his lovely help meet preaching and teaching the men. And oh uh, wow, he got that from someone that's from the Northeast. <laughs> yes, he did. But see, here's the thing. You put a woman on a public platform such as YouTube. You cannot control who will watch your stuff. You can block people from commenting. Yes, you can. But you cannot control who is going to watch it. On a public platform such as this, such as YouTube or any public platform such as social media thing is what they call it, you have a woman preaching and teaching Guess what? You can say, well, she's preaching and teaching the women only. Oh, but men are watching it. Men are watching it. Thus, 
usurping authority over the man. See, when you put your woman in a public platform such as this, and she starts reading and teaching people, guess what? You cannot control who watches it. You can control who comments on your stuff, yes, but you cannot control who's watching it. She's also teaching men. Heresy! Contrary to Scripture, 1 Corinthians 14, 34-38. Let your women keep silence in the churches. That's not the buildings, that's the body. For it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Now, there is this misconception that when the saints, the body of Christ, congregate together, whether it's in my living room, or your dining room, or even in your bathroom, okay, where they congregate together, there is this misconception that when sisters, saints are amongst them, that they can't even like say, hi. I was asked that. It's like, can, what, you know, when we're congregated together, does that mean we can't even say hello to one another? No, that's not what that means. A woman is like, so what? A woman, see, and see, this is a misconception, brethren, that when the women are in the congregation, that they're just supposed to be docile little dummies. No, 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 no. Keep reading. Uh, you know, sisters, when you congregate with each other and, and the brethren and whatnot in a setting, it's like, can I, can I say hi? Say hi. Can I ask other? Yes, you can. Okay, that's not what this is addressing. Keep reading. And if they will learn anything, Learn. How do you learn something? By being instructed, by being taught, by being guided. Okay? So, when Paul says that they are not permitted to speak, what does that mean? Does that mean that they can't say hello to their, their, their friend or they greet someone or ask of their welfare? No. And if they will learn anything, and if they will learn anything, meaning... They're not supposed to be the ones up there teaching, preaching. Let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Speak what? Speak to teach and preach. See, learn. Learn. Shame for a woman to speak in the church. So what? A woman, when the body of Christ get together, can't say hi to one another? No. This is talking specifically about a woman like that. She's not even a woman. She's a pig. Renee Rowan, really? Really? For her to come around and be preaching and teaching? And then they always justify. They always find ways to justify it. When scripture is plain, a woman is not supposed to be being the preacher, the teacher. Now see, in a one-on-one -on -one experience outside your door, like what has happened with my wife. You know, when we came across people and the Lord was using her to talk to these people, I come around and she's like, oh, here's my husband. And then the guys will go away. I just show up and she's like, oh, here's my husband. He'll explain it to you. It's like, hi. It's like, where are you guys going? See, in that capacity, when you are on a public platform such as this, and you've got a woman up there, so-called, preaching and teaching the word, no, 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 no. What? Came the word of God out from you? Or came it onto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things which I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. See, when it comes to this capacity, men are the one. Oh, and that's misogy uh, what's the word? Misogynistic. You've been hearing a lot about that because the camel got defeated. <laughs> okay. Which I, I thought the Jesuits were gonna catapult that numb skull into I really did. It's like, oh wow, but apparently Donald Trump is the worst of the two. That's terrifying. That's terrifying, okay? But these are the commandments of the Lord. Okay? The Lord is not okay with you women on, in a public platform. One-on-one. On one, my wife has done that. One-on-one. On one, that's not 
publicly preaching and teaching and speaking. See, a sister can do that in that capacity. When you're in this capacity there, pal, and you put your lovely health meat to speak and to preach it your, your contrary to Scripture, done, zero, zilch, zip, that's it. You can do all your shadow boxing and weaving all day long. You're in error. I, I wanted to t try to talk to that guy, but no, he, he's a December 25th worshiper, emulator of the guy from Northeast. Okay, he even sounds, acts, talks, speaks like him. Okay, and also uh, teaches a veil form of Calvinism. You know, that's not your faith, it's the faith of Jesus. <laughs> okay, but I went, it's like, dude, you, you know. You're an error, but no, he didn't want to believe that, of course, because he's, he's part of a crazy quasi-cult anyway. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. After the first and second admonition, reject, reject them. A man that is an heretic, after the first and second admonition, go away, go away. I'm not going to waste my time. Don't waste your time. Okay? Don't waste your time. All right? Now, you go to 2 Timothy chapter 2. Okay? Uh, the video, Cold, Very Cold, will be in the description box. Okay? Where we talk about women preachers. And their ridiculous excuses to go contrary to the Word of God. Okay? Even an atheist has the right notion when he, and he was doing it for another reason, but he, even he, a certain atheist, uh, was calling women preachers. He's like, hey, what are you doing? The scriptures say you aren't supposed to be doing that. And he's right, but he's doing it for, you know, trying to bring something contrary to the word of God. Okay? But yet, he's saying the truth. Women preachers are not allowed of God. Uh, second, uh, First Timothy two nine on to verse fifteen, and see with these women who justify themselves, especially pigs like Renee Roland. Hi, <coughs> you and Jack Smack should probably get together someday. Day, you two idiots would make a credit couple. <laughs> okay, um, uh, First Timothy chapter two verse nine on to verse fifteen. In like manner also that women adorn themselves with in modest apparel, with shamefacedness faceness and sobriety, not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. array. Yes, a woman, uh, you know, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. She shall be praised. Pigs like Renee Roland. Pigs like uh, Roma Army. She not even she doesn't even claim to be a Christian, okay? And any one of these female preachers, uh, the charismatics are loaded with them, okay? You're in, you're in error. You're in heresy. You're doing something that is not intended for you to do, okay? Period. Period. That's it. End of story. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Ye have got said though. Right? Yeah. But which but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. And this is not works unto salvation, you twits. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. See, comparing scripture with scripture. Learn in silence with all subjection. The woman is not supposed to be But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. See, in the congregation of the saints, when the saints get together in a house, in a trailer, or wherever, and you have the sisters there, it's not saying that they can't, like, can I say hi? Yeah, say hi. Ask how they're doing. You know, invite them over. Okay, so, you know, somebody, uh, one of the men, get the scriptures out. It's like, okay, let's go through some scripture. Shh. Be quiet. That's when you be quiet. So what, what did he say? I, I'll tell you. Just come on. Let's keep reading. Okay. Let's keep keep reading. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about it at home. Okay. Let's just keep going. She's like, well, I don't understand. Then the man, hey, d d can you expound on that a little bit? He's like, oh, sure. Okay. Shh. Shh. Okay. Shh. You're not supposed to teach. 
And what that pig, Renee, that's not teaching. That's guiding people to hell. Okay? I, I have no pity nor remorse or respect for imbeciles like that. But, you know, there are some decent so-called women out there. Well, I'm sure that pig has led astray. Okay? It's revolting. And then when you see a, a so-called woman promoting that, girl, you looking at me? That's disgusting. That man, Nick, is reaching the end. And here you come along trying to circumvent true brokenness and giving him lies in the process. The Lord rebuke you. You're not saved. You're not a saint. You're promoting Renee Rowan? Uh -huh. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. See, and see, you Christian women, you Christian women, you don't like this. Guess what? Guess what? Eve was made for Adam. Not Adam for Eve. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the way God intended it. That's noble. That's glorious unto you. But no. Now, especially with this uh, woke tard thing, uh, that's misogyny. And it's funny. A lot of these uh, woke tards call the God who is, you know, Jesus Christ, who is God the Father. Uh, misogynistic. But the God of Christianity, God loves you. Just believe her. He's not angry at you. And Adam was not deceived. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Who did Satan go to first? Come on. He went to uh, Eve. Where was Adam? We don't know. Why wasn't Eve around Adam? We don't know. We could, we could talk about that, and that's an interesting uh, topic to talk about. But the fact is, the fact is, Satan went first to woman. And then I believe that she, you know, she, well, she did. She gave to Adam. Um, there are those out there who like to say that Adam willfully gave himself to die with his wife. I don't buy that. Because if he did, why did when the Lord wanted a confession from him, why did the woman thou gavest me to be with? Why did he do that? If he truly was sacrificing himself for his wife, as some people believe, why did he not say, what, what did you do? I sinned, Lord. I sinned. And, that, and that's the end of it. But no, what did Adam do? The woman thou gavest me to be with, she did give me of the tree, and yeah, I did eat. Not taking full accountability or responsibility for his action. The Adamic nature, which you, free grace scum, cultivate. As long as I'm alive, I'll, I, and the Lord will, um, we will do everything capable to refute your vomit. But, and Adam was not deceived, meaning Satan didn't go to Adam. Now, Satan can go to the man to go, <laughs> oh, yeah! But where did he go to? What's his first thing that he goes to? The weaker vessel. And women, some of you sisters even, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? God intended you for a noble, glorious purpose. But see, when you try to usurp authority over what God has decreed, you're a devil. You're in heresy. You're full of pride. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness and sobriety. That's not working to be saved. You go the way of the cross, broken of your self-righteousness, taking responsibility unlike Adam, and having the hell scared out of you. And see, when those are present in someone, you, the lesser, can't wait to cry out to the greater. And see, that is a concept that none of you free gracers understand. 
because they say calling on the name of the Lord is heresy. Or, or no, what you say? It's a work. No, it isn't. And see, right there, right there, shows you, you guys haven't been broken. You still think you're something. You still, you still think, look at me. I just believe. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. And see, brokenness again. Yeah, I, I now I have encountered a very fascinating individual, um, who um, a very fascinating individual, who just one day. And like I said, I gotta I gotta stay away from YouTube for a couple days, uh, because the more uh, the more I see on YouTube, the just the more uh, <laughs> angry I get. But I, I came across this one dude. Uh, who just for some reason and he had a live stream it wasn't a stream yard thing he was using his cell phone and whatnot it, it, I just came across it and for some reason it's like uh, okay dude what are you doing and um, and he was talking and whatnot and for some reason the fascinating individual uh, last night though I made a comment he asked like well how is everybody doing and I said and I in the comment it's like I'm doing better than I deserve and that kind of got his attention. Was, well, I'm doing better than I deserve. And then I said in his comment section, uh, I deserve to be dead. And he, that bothered him. And I'm like, number one, the man's not safe. He doesn't even claim to be. Okay? Fine. Fine. But there again, the fact, and then I, I commented a few more times, and, you know, I went to bed. Uh, you know, and whatnot, and he's like, I hope you're okay, and it's like, you don't understand what I was saying to you, son. And I could say that to you because you're 37 years old, I'm 50. You won't see this, I doubt it, anyway. But a very fascinating guy. But the whole idea that he was mortified. You know, when someone asks me nowadays, how you doing, Brad? I'm doing better than I deserve. We all deserve, no, we do not. We, man, I deserve. I deserve to be in hell. Now, now stop. See, you haven't been broken of your self-righteousness. Okay? You, you know, you like to skip over that. That statement alone will either make... See, he's even saying... He, shut up. You don't get it. See, the way you react to that ought to... Turn on the well, bells and whistles in your head. What do you mean you deserve to be dead? My sin put Jesus Christ on the cross because of what I did. It's no one's fault but my own. I have free will. And before the Lord saved me 16 years ago, I used my free will to sin, to live like I wanted to do. I am not good. I am not righteous. I deserve because I put Christ on the cross. I did. It was my fault. I deserve to be dead. I deserve to be in hell. But by His grace, through my faith, He saved me when He brought me the way of the cross, which is number one, death to you. Not physically. But see, again, the way you react to what, you deserve to be dead? What are you talking about? That, hey son, that ought to, that ought to really like, what does that mean? What does that mean? And see, that's brokenness. That's acceptance that I can't, I can't save myself. It's my fault. It's me. I am the man. And unless the Lord saves me, I'm going to hell. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. 
Uh, a video on hell will be in the description box for you, which <laughs> some people um, say doesn't exist. <laughs> or that it's kind of like a purification kind of thing. <laughs> and see, in that moment, it's not step one, step two, step three, are you dead, dead, dead. no. That is a fell fluid thing. And see, not one of you free gracers have ever experienced that. Proof. Uh, calling on the name of the Lord is work. Proof. Dude, when you've got the hell scared out of you and the water coming up on that sinking submarine and your only option, Lord! You, you, you haven't been there. You haven't been there. You haven't been there. Deuteronomy 7. Different dispensation. Under the dispensation of the law, it was faith and works. Your faith was in God, that he would honor you for doing what he prescribed in the law. Okay? All right? And also, the death, burial, and resurrection and the blood on the cross was not shed under the law, nor was it in the patriarchal period. Okay? Uh, you want to know what, hey, gay little girl, you want to know what it means to actually rightly divide the word of truth? There will be, and I'm going to write that one down. There will be videos uh, for you to consider. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay? Study! Study takes time. This does. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. See, that's why these heretics keep themselves within a time frame that gratifies your flesh. And when the, the free grace idiots do their live streams, it's entertainment. It's all fleshly. It's all, you know, it's all rah, rah, rah stuff. It's entertainment, man. You know? It's like, you know, you know, sweetie pie, if you just stick with your element and just shut up about your little Satan that you worship, you do pretty decent stuff. When you just shut up, and leave your God, Satan, out of the equation and talk about things that, you know, the world... You do a decent job. You do. i, I, I got to give you that credit. That one thing you did on the politics was great. It was. I actually enjoyed it. I almost commented, but I didn't. Because then again, you attack me. And, I, you know, and we don't need to do that kind of fighting on any of our channels. Okay? <laughs> but it's like, you know, you, you stay in your element. <laughs> you do some decent stuff. Okay? But see, it's entertainment. It's fleshly. It's carnal. And that's what free grace is. It's not the fair. It's, it's, it's an infection like a Jesuit that has infected all these denominations of Christianity, people. Okay? Now, let's continue. In Deuteronomy 7, verses 7 to verse 11. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved, past tense, loves, only appears twice in Scripture. One in the Song of Solomon, and the other one in Proverbs 7, which is describing the whore. Roman Catholicism, I believe. Okay, you could definitely tie that in there with Proverbs 7. Loves only appears twice. You go on King James Bible, believe, uh, King James Bible Online, it says it appears three times. No, it does not. It only appears in the text of Scripture twice. The heading before the actual text is not Scripture. Okay? So, loves only appears twice. Loved, right there is what? Past tense. Uh, John 3.16 is not the gospel either. Okay? John 3.16 is not the gospel. For the death, burial, and resurrection, their faith was to be in him as the Mashiach, the king of the Jews. After the death, burial, and resurrection, the blood shed on the cross, it's finished. See, the dispensation changed. The, the method of salvation, the method of one being made right with God, it changes in the dispensation. Okay? Not his grace. If his grace wasn't there... In every dispensation, we go up like a puff. And see, during the kingdom of heaven, the, the Lord's going to be on a throne in Jerusalem. You're going to see Jesus Christ on a throne in Jerusalem. Hence, faith is irrelevant. 
Why? Uh, the, the Lord's going to be on a throne. And these free gracers, these idiots, tell you it's by grace through faith. Garden of Eden. God was walking in a body in the Garden of Eden. They saw God. No. Okay? Faith was not required. During the kingdom of heaven, Jesus is going to be... It's, it's, it's laughable. Jesus is going to be a throne, on the throne at Jerusalem. It's not by grace through faith. <laughs> it's, it's laughable. It's not. It's not. So right there, you guys tell people it's by grace through faith from beginning to end, you're liars. Done. Period. But because the Lord loved, past tense you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Hebraic line, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, for our instruction in righteousness that is likened unto a type of Satan. Okay? Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand, this, uh, a thousand generation. Remember, keeping the commandments, we don't have to do that today. We can't. Okay, this is another dispensation. Okay, this is, we're looking at this for our instruction in righteousness. Trying to convey to you brokenness, which that, that dear young guy uh, who's, um, who fascinates me, uh, you know, his reaction. And in the frame of a live stream, there's no time or space to explain it to him. And besides, he was, he was having some emotional moments anyway. Okay, but he's like, what do you mean? This is what I mean. And, okay, and repayeth them that hate him to their face. See, you're an antinomianist, you hate God. You offer to people freedom from God and grace, Satan's grace, to continue in sin. To be to destroy them. He will not slack to he will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them. And go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 9, verses 4 and verse 6. And here, Pentecostals, I speak in tongues. Therefore, I'm special. Black Hebrew Israelites, I'm elect because I'm black, a form of Calvinism. Okay? Okay? The Catholic, I'm in Christ's church. I, I, eat, I eat his body. I drink his blood. And, no. Easy believers. I just believe and receive. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. <clears throat> Speak not thou in thine heart. After that the Lord thy God hath cast them out from before thee, saying, For my righteousness the Lord hath brought me in to possess this land. I'm special because I just believe in receive. It's what I've done. Yeah. <laughs> Heretics. But for the wickedness of these nations, the Lord doth drive them out from before thee. See, they're wicked. That's why I'm bringing you into here. It's not because you are better than they, but because God loved and chose Israel. See, God's the one who does the saving. But see, you, the one thing you have to make the choice of is going the way of the cross. God's the one who saves you, but you have to make the decision whether or not you're going to believe on him there it is. See, belief, I'm not disputing belief. It's how you arrive at that belief. See, you jump over brokenness, contrition, fear, which will result in anyone in that state screaming out unto the Lord. Okay? You're offering another gospel and another Jesus. Okay? Our faith is the answer to His grace. Alright? Alright? Do you understand? But see, the, you free gracers, you always end up puffing up yourself about what you have done by you just believed. Okay? And you also mock and insult the true grace of God, which none of you understand, by giving these people a license to continue in. Look at the news unit. Look at praise that he isn't. 
Okay? Look at that zoo dudes idiot. Okay? Listen to how they talk. Brad, you're, they are devils. I have no remorse, regret, or repentance for anything I say about those guys. Those guys are leading you people who want their slop to hell. They're leading you to hell. Not for thy righteousness or for the uprightness of thine heart dost thou go to possess their land. But for the wickedness of these nations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. And that he may perform the word which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Hebraic line. Okay? Understand, therefore, that the Lord thy God giveth thee not this good land to possess it for thy righteousness, for thou art a stiff-necked people. Ephesians 3. Now see, if they were looking forward to the cross, then you have a contradiction in Ephesians 3. Okay? You, on your own time, there, little girl, little boy, pause this video and read uh, Ephesians 3, verses 1 on to verse 7. Okay? If they were looking forward to the cross, why did Peter say, This will not be unto thee, Lord? If they were looking forward to the cross, you would have a humongous, clearing contradiction with Ephesians chapter 3. They were not looking forward to the cross until it happened. It's another lie that you guys like to promote. Ephesians 3, 8 to 13. Paul, the greatest of the church of God, unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. See, Paul knew, truly believed, that he was the least of all men. And see, scratch you little free gracers. I'm better than so-and-so every single time without fail. And I can scratch you guys. Because <laughs> uh, I have an annoying voice, right? <laughs> Praise the Lord. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the... Hey, little girl, you looking at this, huh? <laughs> which from the beginning of the world hath been hidden God who created all things by Jesus Christ in the beginning and God said Genesis 1 verse 3 the Godhead not three persons in action okay hath been hid they weren't looking forward to the cross until it happened To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church, the body, the manifold wisdom of God. According to the eternal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by faith of him. Now see, an idiot like Scott will see, see, it's the actual, no. It's of him. It is entirely on him. It's of him, meaning it's all on him. He is our everything. It does not mean, and uh, faith of Jesus, refuting that idiot's heresy, uh, it will be in the description box uh, for you, okay? No, this is merely saying that everything that we have is on Christ and what he did for us. Faith of him. Not that we have, if we had, if we had the actual literal faith of God the Father himself, Jesus Christ, instead of our own, why are we still sinning? Why do we allow doubts in every once in a while? If it was actually the faith of Christ that we had, and not our own. Our faith is the answer to His grace. Okay? See, if it's His faith, then we are robots. The decision has been made for us. Hence, veiled Catholicism. And all you King James Bible believing Christians, Amen! Amen! Yeah! And make sure you, you decorate your, your... I'm not even going to go off on that. Okay? Deck the halls, pal!
<laughs> Remember, I'm not a Christian. Okay? So don't be surprised when you see me act this way towards devils who are guiding you to hell. All right? Now let's continue. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not in my at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Set to verse 13. Now go to 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. Verses 1 to 10. The lazy, the lazy gospel I put in the community section uh, addressing who I'm not going to name in this video. I'm not going to give you what you want. I already did, unfortunately. But um, the lazy gospel okay, will be in this description. Uh, it's in the uh, community section. But um, is this the gospel? This is, you know, death, burial, and resurrection. But see, the free there's no blood there. See, when giving the gospel to someone, you use scripture. You compare. Look at me. You compare scripture with scripture. There isn't just one and done place that you go to. You incorporate other things. See, and that's their thing. A quick shot in the arm. Just believe and receive without comparing scripture with scripture. No, there is no mention of blood. But you know what? And in that one video, we're quite a, a irritated at this. Um, there are, is mention of blood in other places. You go, well, what's, what's the gospel? Christ, uh, well, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain, like the free gracers are. Okay? For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried and rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Free grace. There's no blood there. You know what? There is blood mentioned in other places. In your Romans 3, which we're going to be looking at, you don't just stay here. You go elsewhere. See, that's the thing they do. A shot in the arm. Just believe and receive. And that's it. No. That's why they're against Romans 1, 2, and 3 up to verse 18. Okay. Scripture upon Scripture showing you that you ain't good. That you can't save yourself. They hate that. It's like take a pill. It's, it's reflective in the American culture. Take a pill and be done with it. Okay. Study to shoot thyself approved unto God, a workman who needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And study takes effort, labor, not to save yourself, but to know the word of God, to know the Lord who wrote the scriptures. See, you don't just stay here, you go elsewhere. Because they, there's no blood there. I, there's blood elsewhere in the scriptures mentioned, you idiot. You don't just stay there. You use other scriptures. Okay? And that he was seen of Cephas. Cephas. Then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once. Of whom the greater part remain unto this present. But some are fallen asleep. Dead. After that he was seen of James. Then of all the apostles. And last of all least of all saints. Last of all, he was seen of me as one born out of due season, uh, out of due time, excuse me, out of due time. See, Paul put others before himself. What you see, especially with these Christians who've been there, done that, been doing this for years and years and years, they like to put themselves at the beginning of their pedigree and then list other people. It's like, I'm off top, I'm on the pedestal. No, Paul here, you know, from murderer to messenger, and free grace is a messenger to murderer. Okay, that'll be in the description box for you as well. See, Paul knew he was the least of all saints. Paul knew that he deserved to be in hell. Yes, he did. Because he did things ignorantly. Even though he, he was fastidious in keeping the law. See, this is the brokenness that I was referring on to, son. 
For I am the least of the apostles, that am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the Christians, persecuted the church of God. But what do you see in some of these uh, YouTube Christians? Okay, I have done this. I thousands have been said. I, 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 me, me, me. When Paul, <laughs> I'm the least. I'm the least. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. And the grace of God does not give you a license to sin like the antinomious devil Ponscum tell you. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. That's what you teach. You blatantly askew Romans 6, 1 and Romans 6, 15. When someone could read that plainly, but what do you say? Hey, the more you sin, the better it is for you. We're not under the law, not even the morality of it, but we're under grace. So you are law under, you guys are lost devil heretics guiding people to hell. And I pray, I wish the Lord would shut you up sooner than when he is. But his judgment has to be there. So, anyway, 1 Timothy chapter 1. 1 Timothy chapter 1. Okay. Now see, you, you free gracers, you can't handle this. An hour. No, you need 10 minutes. And maybe at the most, 20 minutes. See, these Christians placating to gratify your flesh because of your time, uh, your time frame, because of your attention. I don't care. No. No. I'm not. No way. God forbid. This goes as long as the Lord will have it to go. Okay, and you can't handle it, which you, you uh, free gracers can't, then go, go watch Jerk Smack. Go watch your Renee Rowland for your little 10 minute shot in the arm heresy. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And remember, your God loves you. 1 Timothy 1, 10 on the 17. For whoremongers, for that, uh, uh, no, let's, um, let's, uh, let's start. At verse 11, on verse 17. According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who hath enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Who put him into the ministry? Who was before a blasphemer, and a persecutor, and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. And see, this is what you guys hate. The very first video will be this addressing Paul uh, from murderer to messenger. That will be the first one in the description box. After that, we're going to have the rightly dividing videos. Okay, That's four hours worth of study there, which you guys can't handle. And if you don't want to consider these things... Shut up and go to hell, and God loves you. Okay? This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom everybody is chief. Personal accountability. That's why you guys hate Romans 1, 2, and 3, up to verse 18. That's why you overlap it. That's why you skip it. And see, that Nick guy was on that road, and then you have this idiot coming along, just believe and receive. You don't need that stuff. That's work. Okay, and then you give them, Renee, Roland. <laughs> How be it? For this cause I obtain mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might chew forth a all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Yes, Paul is the example unto the body of Christ of how we are to serve God in this dispensation. Okay? And Paul was broken of his self-righteousness, which we address in so many other videos. Okay? You don't want to take the time to listen to them. That's your problem. 
But see, if you are on that course of being broken, there might be... Hey, it's a long shot, but it's worth the shot because you never know until you try. Right there, Chris. You ain't going to see this anyway. Now unto the King Eternal, Immortal, Invisible. We can't physically see Jesus Christ like we're going to be able to in the Kingdom of Heaven. Uh, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, in Romans 3, in Romans 3, now, they, they differ in where they begin reading this. But they always have these couple of verses. What the free, some free gracers will start at verse 20. Okay? Some will begin at verse 21. Okay, I've, I've seen that. They, they, where they start, but they always have this. For all have verse 23 on to verse 26. And they say, this is the pure gospel. But see, and now this, this is absolute truth. Yes, it is. But see, it's a half truth that they're giving you. They're not giving you the whole truth. See, therefore, it's a lie. Because it's half of what is actually the whole truth. This right here, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. But what about you? What about me? Being just... Being justified freely by His grace. That does not say free grace. Loved. Past tense. Okay? And see, here's the thing. The true grace of God costs you something. Oh, yeah. But more on that in a second. Being justified freely by His grace... Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Now that is absolute truth. But see, what are you leaving out? See, God's true grace costs you something. And it is a price that none of you free grace antinomianists <laughs> pond scum want to pay. And most lost people don't want to pay it either. What is that? See, what are they leaving out? What are they leaving out? See, this is why they say the woman's woe is heresy. Because Romans 1, 2, and 3 up to verse 18. One thing you lack. As it is written. There is none righteous. No not one. That, uh, that's me. And that's you. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. It's me. Includes you. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. That includes me. That includes you. Their throat is an open sepulcher. With their tongues they have used to see. The poison of asps is under their lips. You, you, okay. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Oh, check out some of these free gracer guys. And listen to that. Yeah. Okay. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. See, that's pivotal. And see, what comes before 3? Chapter 2. What comes before chapter 2? Chapter 1. Okay? And see, you omit that and just go to Romans 3. Like I said, some start at verse 21 or 20, but they always make sure to include 23, 24, 25, and 26. And they, 
like they do when they say it, when you tell them about the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection in 1 Corinthians 15, they do the same thing. There's no blood there. See, they're well, it's like with the Trinity. They put God in these boxes. This one and done thing. No, there is a myriad of scripture comparing scripture with scripture. They're offering you a pill. A one and done thing. No, 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 no. You're right, there is no blood mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. It's mentioned elsewhere. Hey, isn't it mentioned right there? Okay? See, you don't just stay in one place, son. You, you compare Scripture with Scripture. These guys, you, free grace, scum, Leading people to hell. You are giving them another gospel. And another Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. And all the while. All the while. What do they. And this, 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 come on. I wish. I, you know. Like that one dude. If he, I wish you would have at least the stones once. When it comes to Romans 6. 1 and 15. This is what you guys do. Romans 6 verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Verse 2. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? What do you guys say? Huh? The more you sin, the more grace abounds. And see, you can almost verbatim say that because most of the people who you are targeting don't read the scriptures and they look for you look to you to be their guide and then when it comes uh, to Romans uh, 6 verse 15 what then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace right there in the verse God forbid we're not under even we don't even have to you know antinomianism which will be in the description box for you where we talk about that you know, they're not even under the morality, the moral principles of the law. They're not. They claim not to be. The law you don't keep today for salvific purposes. No. But the morale, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not bear false witness. Okay? Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt make thee no other gods. Deck the halls, pal. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. This, this, this is, this is. Turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. There will be a bunch of videos for you in the description box to consider. Okay. And, uh, you know, if I, if. You come to this channel that the Lord has given me because I've left a comment and then you... And, and see, that's what you guys do. Someone might be actually on the actual path to of the cross and in that, that thing of being broken and having the hell scared out of you, out of them. You devils swoop in. No, 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 no. Just believe and receive. You don't need that. Uh, uh, calling on the name is, uh, of the Lord is at work. Just believe. Hey, you don't have to do anything. You can go ahead and continue on because, hey, we all do, right? And, hey, the more you do, the more God's grace is for you anyway. And besides, hey, we, the, the law, hey, we don't have to keep that. That's true, salvifically. But, hey, don't worry. You're, you're not, you don't have to pay attention to that because, hey, judge not, you know, that kind of stuff. They, they are against even the morality of it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. This was not the video that I thought I was going to be doing today. But like I said, <laughs> and that, that, and you, you little girl, that, that dude needs the true Lord Jesus Christ. He needs the true gospel. And how dare you, you vile, filth pig, come along in a moment where that dude might be actually searching. Will he? I don't know. Probably not. I hope he does. But see, 
listens to you. And, and see, that dude has actual devil activity going on in his house. And here you come along with just believe and receive. And okay, he, let's say he falls for your, your heresy. But yet the devils don't go away. Huh? Nothing changes. No new creature. You, you guys. That's going to be it for this video. We have some important things to be attending to today. Please, saints, keep your servant in prayer. We need all the prayers you can. we can get. Please, we need, all, we need your help by prayer. Please, please, okay? We have an appointment today at 2 o'clock that my wife and I have to undergo, okay? So please keep us in prayer for that. We'll, I'll explain to that to you all about that later. But like I said, this is just... Um, Lord rebuke you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching if you do. There are links for you in the description box, okay? Uh, if, you come, uh, if you come around here posting links to especially Renee, any free gracer, or coming around spewing your slop, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Brethren, you see that, and I'm not around, go ahead, feel free to get rid of it. Go right ahead. Okay? So, I love you, saints. Thank you so much for watching. If you do, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.